as a gaming enthusiast, I watch game shows to observe on how games are played. Today, I am going to critique about the most popular game show, The Price is Right. At Bidder's Row, the most frequent low number that the contestants bid on the prize in U.S. dollars is 1. And the second most frequent low number is 2. Come on! The prize is worth from 100 U.S. dollars to 9,999 U.S. dollars. Why is there a prize that is potentially have four die. The display screen goes up to four decimal digits, zero to nine. You cannot find those prizes at a dollar store for crying out loud. Contestants can bid other low numbers like 10, like 25, like 50, or like 100. Is it annoying that contestant B bids one higher than contestant A, so contestant A cannot win? My alternative solution is that each contestant uses a keyboard to bid secretly. The same bids responded by two or more contestants cancel each other out. And if all four contestants bid the same bid, lottery will choose a winner by luck. I think that being one of the first four contestants in each episode has a big advantage. According to my logic of frequency, Golden Road or Triple Play may be randomly chosen if one of those games is the first game of the episode. And if one of those games cannot be the second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth in the episode. Is that this grim, uh, notory? Contestants should be randomly chosen by a random number generator. I determine turn order and slash or starting positions by random number generator or by dice for the sake of fairness because of advantages and because of disadvantages. The ninth player who comes on down in each episode has a very big disadvantage because he slash he only gets one chance. Because Plinko is so popular, I think that Plinko deserves a solo game show. You know that some music artists from music groups have solo careers like Lionel Richie from The Commodores and like Bill Collins from Genesis. I can think of different Plinko variations based on dart toss variations. According to the rules and crafts, or according to any die game, at least one die must hit the backboard to declare a legal role, so there will be less physical strategy on how a contestant rolls the die slash dice. I saw contestants roll die 
slash dice. But the die slash dice did not hit the backboard. Boo! The audience should boo at this die roll like the big wheel did not spin at least one revolution, thus declaring an illegal spin. How about that the price is right replaces dice with a random number generator? The disadvantages of rolling dice are flying out of the table and oblique landing after rolling. Did you know that there is such thing as different dice that has different number of faces besides six or die game? I call this game high or low. The die game reminds me of the game show Card Sharks. Part 2 will continue next time.